to inhaul or not to inhale. Inhaling the jib has become the fashion in racing boats now that the Genoas are gone. And most modern boats have a 100x% percent or so jib. On cruising boats, the jib sheeting angle is often limited by the coach roof and or the placement of the jib track. In this simulation, we wanted to look at how vital inhauling is and what we can achieve by adjusting the jib trim and shape when the jib track is more outboard. Base model. Jib inhauled to 5 degrees, loose trim with plenty of twist. Base model outhauled. Jib outhauled to 15 degrees, same trim and twist as the inhauled. Outhauled and trimmed. Trimming in the base jib so that the upper leech closes. Finally, a jib shape optimized for outboard sheeting. Closed upper leech, fuller lower part with draft more aft and rounder exit. The leech area is nearly parallel to that of the inhauled base model. Variation from inhauled to outhauled and modified shape. Showing vorticity, you can distinguish several major vortices emanating from the boat and the sails. The starting vortices are only formed when the wind is turned on, so to speak, they are left behind as the boat moves on. Vortices consume energy and create drag. The individual head and foot vortices of the jib and the mainsail tend to linger into one as they are swept back.